Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today I'm going to be looking more into these missiles uh, with the blocks to do with the beta because the last video I just uploaded, you guys absolutely loved it. And I got loads of comments um, with questions and people uh, pointing out mistakes that I've maybe made and I want to just talk about some of these uh, points that they've made and uh, clear up a couple of things that I think some people might be getting a bit confused on. So stay tuned and we'll go through each of them. So of course these are the two blocks, at least on the small grids that we are using. We are using the move AI flight and we're using the combat offensive, right? So when we set up, when we're setting up a move, um, I like to leave collision avoidance and precision mode on i set the speed limit to 100 i set the altitude to zero or at least a couple of degrees and if you set it too high anything on the ground these missiles can't fire at because they try to stay above the distance so try and keep it as small as possible if you can if you're on a planet um and the first thing is a lot of people tell me that if i'm making a missile i should turn collision avoidance off and for that i say no for one main reason when you go to the combat thing right at the bottom there is an override um collision avoidance in other words it doesn't matter if you have this collision avoidance on in the move con control the actual combat will ca counteract it overpower it and mean that um it'll be on no matter what um as far as as i'm aware as long as you if you have collision avoidance on it means it doesn't just crash into the ground but it will crash into an enemy like that or if, if it misses it'll hit into the ground near the enemy if you have it off it can just sure it can still hit the enemy but it can also just hit anything and i i from what i can tell is it works a little bit better with it on um the second thing that a lot of people were telling me is these missiles they have to have thrust in all directions including ones pointing backwards and i've done tests so i've got uh, ones with them on and so actually right here i have a, one missile with a thrust on like a thrust in all directions and one where it hasn't got thrust in all directions i literally just chopped off the uh, thrust and we'll see which one is more accurate shall we so i set up these little uh, pods and look, actually, this is another point. A lot of you guys were asking me, hey, can you make it so they can automatically fire? The answer is yes. And it's really, really easy. It's essentially just, I have this on a little uh, connector. This connector allows you to fill up with fuel because these are hydrogen powered th uh, missiles. Because that's another thing you guys are telling me. You said you should make these uh, hydrogen because, you know, you can uh, use less batteries and it's easier. So yeah, if I fire, I'm going to fire this one off, and I'm also going to fire this one off. And we'll see which one hits better and which one moves faster. The red one's probably going to hit in first because it's going full speed. And the main thing you guys were saying is if you have backwards, or you need backwards thrust to, mean, to make sure that um, the missiles hit properly. Now, I don't really believe it, because I think they hit pretty well either way. You can see that one hit nicely. And the one that had thrust also hit. I don't think it makes any difference if you have um, backwards thrust on or not. I think it does make your vehicle slightly more... Or your missile slightly more precise. Maybe. I think it will definitely help in space if it needs to turn around. But for the most part, I don't think it makes that much of a difference whatsoever. Yeah, these, these little missile pods are really cool, aren't they? I, I like them. Um, another thing that you guys were saying is actually in the in the menus. If I uh, go into the actual uh, menus of the combat. Apparently having... Well, yeah, that doesn't make a difference. Apparently having these guidance types are different. Um, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what these do was from what I obviously this is still beta so I don't think everything's fully working but for, from what I can tell I'll tell you what these do so basic is your simple most form it, uh, it will track the enemy and just head towards the enemy 
target precision or prediction, sorry, target prediction is kind of how it sounds. If a vehicle is moving, I think these uh, this will try and guess where it is moving, so it'll start um, going towards where it will be rather than where it is. And proportional navigation just means it will use any thrust to get there. In other words, if I had this on, this missile would just fly sideways to the enemy. It wouldn't point forward to, uh, you know, like be like a missile. It wouldn't just use its back thrust and then use these to guidance. So, depending on what you think works better, I would either say um, prediction or just leave it as basic. But don't use proportional navigation, at least not for missiles like this. But I guess I can show you. So if I set one as basic and one as, uh, whoops, one as target prediction, um, we can test how they do. Now, another thing I would uh, make sure is you set the minimum altitude to nice and low. I think I'm going to set it to maybe... We'll set it to three meters so it tries to at least not hit the floor. I think I think that would be quite nice. And from how these missiles work, it's as simple as I just turn these thrusters on. I haven't got any fancy kind of thing of uh, thrust override and all that. So we'll see if they actually blow up, because sometimes they do. You know what? Whilst I said that, I'm actually just going to make a copy of it. So if I turn all these thrusters on... And is it going to crash? No, it does. It actually counteracts it. <laughs> and the AI just broke. I think. Uh, one nice thing is you can go into there and see what it's doing. So it's not happy with the minimal... Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just fully broke. Cool, nice. Uh, does this one work any better? This is also a thing I've been having happen a few times. That one just crashed straight to the ground. Um, when you actually make these, make sure that I would recommend either use something like this where it's firing up off the ground or have a counteract kind of uh, thrust state. Now, what does that mean? Basically, try and make it so make it so your missile isn't, you know, trying to go forward because it, it, on a gravity, especially anywhere so high like Earth or more, it probably will crash like what it did there. So I'd recommend this has got some sensors. I'm, I'll make an, I'll make another one there so we can have a look. I'll show you what it does first. So if I click this button, it fires off. Wait for it. And off it goes. But I'm also having trouble with this missile. Because for some reason it doesn't actually hit the target. Ever. I don't know why. And I don't know if this is a bug to do with the uh, beta. So if, if any of you guys have seen this issue before, let me know. But it, it just doesn't... It says it's impacting the grid, which is that grid over there, but is just not really heading for it. I honestly don't know why it's not doing it. It should be. Because it's obviously set so it's going full speed at the altitude, targeting it. So, uh, oh yeah, it should run that. Run out of hydrogen. Bonk. Um... So yeah, I, I, I don't know why this doesn't work. If you have any idea of why this one, I'll show you these things again. I, it doesn't matter if I set it smallest or largest or whatever, I could set it the closest. I don't think it, I don't think it'll make any difference. I could try set it to like a power system maybe. And you know what, let's, let's try target prediction at an intercept, yep. All, all of that should that should work. It's worked for other missiles. I don't know why. But the coolest thing about this is I set the thrust is on an override, right? So um, if I go to the timer blocks, I can show you. 
So the first timer block is starting the second timer block and toggling on the main thrust. The main thrust is this, bo is this bottom one right here, right? So you start the timer, it activates the second timer and starts the thrust, so it starts going up. The second timer block um, activates the AI, which is both of these two blocks, both of the um, move and the, in oh, the incept all AI. So that toggles it on and starts the uh, third timer block. The third timer block is on a very short time, but it's all the other thrusters. So but basically the whole reason of having three instead of two timer blocks is when it takes off, I like to have it be uh, sort of like AI st start to turn and then activate the thrust ahead. If I didn't do that, it would sort of just go up, turn all the thrusters on and slowly turn. It just doesn't look as cool. But let's see if this works any better. I can imagine a missile silo with these. It looks, it's so cool. It's just not going. I don't, I don't know why. I think this might be a little bug. I don't think it really knows what it's doing. It's within range. It's just sort of circling, doing not a lot. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's fun. We um, let's have a look. What else? What other comments did you guys put? Oh yes, another thing you guys were saying is it would be really cool if you could like print off um, missiles and like fire them, you know, and a hundred percent that is possible. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, I don't know if it's to do with the beta, but I can't blueprint anything. So if I press like control B to blueprint, it doesn't actually make a blueprint and it never will. So I don't know if there's something wrong with my game or whether this is to do with just the beta, it breaks the blueprint in systems. I, I don't know. So if you guys know anything, how I can fix that, please let me know. Um, but this is a basic example of what you can do, right? So imagine this is your hydrogen based missile with all the gubbins. As fact, this is actually just group of blocks it doesn't even work what you can do is 3d print or 3d print whatever uh print off this using a um projector using all your ship welds and all that and once it's made it you can set your target you can have it on a merge block so we've got an another another merge block right there so they're attached and we've got uh, two small connectors right there or a small connector there and there so we can um yeah it's hydrogen and then once it's ready to fire, you can literally just toggle off a merge block. And I guess switch lock this. And it should fire. Oh, unless it gets attached to that. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can see what I mean. Um, if you, you can have it connected via merge block. And then when it's ready to fire, a merge block turns off and that thing can fire and attack the target. And you can just constantly print them off and do that. So... For those people saying, can you um, 3D print missiles or laser, laser, what? Can you, uh, you know, print off missiles and uh, build them and fire them? Yes. Yes, you can. And the last thing I did for fun was make a giant missile. Because why not? So this uses big hydrogen tanks and this uses loads of thrusters. It's got some gyros, it's got some back thrust, just because I thought, why not? And believe it or not, this thing actually works. If I turn all of these on, God, that is loud. I do have to put, build it quite high up, just so it doesn't crash. But if I set the AI behavior on to the limit to full and all the altitude and stuff, and I set it to the largest target, intercept, target, eh, we'll just go basic, and toggle the AI on. This thing will fly! <laughs> it's such a stupid looking missile. Uh. 
What's the chances this thing actually even hits? Why did you stop? What? What is wrong with you? Again. I don't know what I did. I did something. Uh, this is why it's in beta because it doesn't work all the time. Come on. Uh, I did actually quite a lot of damage. But bear in mind, these targets are fully heavy armor, so they, they take a bit of a beating. Yeah. Cool. I, I like I like this update. Yeah, if you have any other ideas of um, maybe not so much missiles, because I think we've I think we've covered missiles now. What other kind of drones do you want me to uh, have a little mess about with? Obviously, I could mess about with some like gunning drones and like missile drones, but yeah, if you if you want me to try out some other ones, let me know and I'll uh, see what I can do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you did. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. As much as I did making it. Because these missiles are just really cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Being Quantum Chief, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!